Hey, how's it going guys? This is Eli, the real estate guy. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a absentee owner high equity list. Uh, and I add a few things in there as well. Um, so that it makes sense for uh, my market. So uh, if you guys find any value in this video, go ahead and like this video uh, and comment any questions that you guys will have. Uh, and also share this video uh, with someone that you know will benefit from the information of this video. Now, uh, going in, this is PropStream. All right, and if you want to know the basics of PropStream and how it overall functions, um, I'd say go ahead and check out uh, that video um, that I've already created. Um, it's a great entry-level video so that you're aware of what PropStream is, is able to do. Uh, as far as the basics uh, and what first steps you need to take in order to utilize uh, PropStream for what you're going to be using it for. Now, uh, going in, let's go ahead and start with a city. I live in Houston, so I'll go ahead and start off with Houston. All right, now you want to go absentee owner, high equity. Now, you type high equity, right? So once you start uh, with the high equity, you go in here and it's already chosen that filter uh, for you. So from whatever it was initially, it narrowed it down to high equity properties. Now, uh, absentee owner, uh, when it says owner occupied, you wanna put no. So absentee owner is someone who, does, who owns the house, but they do not live in that property. So most likely a landlord, right? So. So far, you have absentee owner and high equity. Now, going into the characteristics of the properties, I'll type or single, single home, at least a three bedroom, at least a one bathroom. All right, and then you're built. No later than 95. All right. And ownership info, I'll also select individual. All right. Now, this is your basic absentee owner high equity, right? So, the absentee owner, owner high equity residential property that's a single family, um, single family residence, three bed, one bath. I put 95 because I want I want it to be in an area to where there is equity uh, surrounding it uh, and also individually owned. Now, you can make this list a little spicy, uh, if you will, if you uh, go into things like also has uh, an lien. Uh, so how it decreases significantly to 245 names uh, versus. 40945 So depending on your budget, if you have a larger budget, you can go for this list. But I'll tell you right now, everyone and their mom has done an absentee on a high equity list. All right. So it's going to be you and the world that's going after this. Now, if you go after this with a lien, it narrows it down to 245 If you have a really low budget, you can go after these. Uh, but... I'd also make adjustments to that as well. Um, oh, and also let me go ahead and um, put this in there as far as uh, the estimated value of the home. And my market, I typically don't go over uh, 300,000 uh, and that will also narrow it down as well because when you create these lists, uh, you'll end up having houses that are over a million dollars and those are really hard to get rid of. Um, and I'll also, uh, go as, uh, low as hundred thousand. So that way you're getting from a hundred thousand to 300,000 and that brings down that list as well. So, uh, the great thing about, uh, prop stream is yes, it's 33,000 right now, but you can filter it and do one through 1,000. You can create that list and export it. If you want more information on exporting the list, uh, you can go ahead and um, watch that previous video as well because I'll show you uh, how to do that. 
Uh, but this is basically uh, what I would do with an absentee owner high equity list. If you found value in this video, uh, go ahead and like this video and ask any questions that you have in the comments. And also send this to someone that will find value in this video. All right, thank you.